Yeah, <laughs> actually I am. Um, my um, intermediate times were pretty good and they're still holding for, uh, for a nice place in the results. So I think uh, it was a good TT. What can you tell us about the course? How did you find it? Um, yeah, it's a pretty hard course. Also some dragging parts which really... Um, yeah, can make a big difference, but are also really hard to, to pace. Uh, but afterwards, you always have a bit, little bit of uh, of recovery. So, um, yeah, if you pace it well, it's uh, it's a very nice and a good course for the TT. You remain the course for specialists, or it's a bit more for technical riders? Yeah, um, I think for specialists. I mean, these corners, there are a lot of corners, but they're also very wide. So, I mean. Yeah, you can take these corners pretty fast, even if you are less good in taking corners, I think. How did you adapt to, to the jet lag? And how were you at your <coughs> shape right now, just one week, a bit less than one week before the, the World Race? Um, yeah, we arrived Wednesday. Um, and actually, it was not so easy. The first two days, I was really tired, so I slept pretty good. But then the last two nights um, went <laughs> not so good. So. Uh, yeah, it was not too bad that it was an early start, so yeah, I was awake anyway. <laughs> and how is your shape at this uh, moment of the season? Um, yeah, there have been some doubts before and um, I just tried to take all the positive signs from today and from last week's Vuelta uh, to keep my mind happy and, uh, and positive, so yeah. Um, I feel that the Federation also want to keep my, I mean, uh, oh, sorry, um, yeah. Um, they don't put too much pressure and for me that still works the best so I'm happy with that also. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.